kicked while they're down. That's how a local school district that was severely impacted by Hurricane Harvey describes a multi-million dollar payment to the state. Yeah, the state school funding system is nicknamed Robin Hood because it takes money from the rich school districts and gives it to the poor districts. Now, Aransas County ISD is considered rich and this year's payment spiked even with all that Harvey hurricane damage. Seth Kovar joins us now live to break it all down. So Seth, you would think they would give these school districts some kind of a break. Yeah, you'd think so. Not the case though right now anyway. It's all about the formula that the state uses to come up with the so-called recapture payments. You take all the value of the homes and other property within a school district and then divide it by the number of students. The catch is there's a year lag when it comes to property value, meaning this year's payment is based off Aransas County's property value before Harvey. And that's not all. The district's payment is even higher because the state uses the current number of students, which is still down by hundreds because of the hurricane. They're just taking our money. We feel like we're getting kicked when we're down. We need help to educate our kids. Aransas County school leaders have a message for lawmakers. Cut us some slack. The district's recapture or Robin Hood payment spiked by $2 million this year to more than $7 million. That's millions more than the state funding the district receives. You can see the recapture funds going up and the state funds going down and it's just not, you know, the state's not doing their part to help us. It's local money that makes up most of the district's budget and that's taken a hit too. Property tax revenue was down by $4.2 million because of the loss in property value, thanks to Hurricane Harvey. But there is some good news. State lawmakers are considering making up for 80% of those losses. Hopefully we get that uh, check, you know, in the early summer, and so our budget is balanced then if we get that money. Another effort to get more money is a marketing campaign trying to get more families to move to Rockport. We'd like to get more kids to come to school here so we can get more funding, and that, that goes to paying teachers better paying all our staff better. A staff that's been reduced by 59 members in the past couple of years as the district tightened its belt. We're having to cut staff. We're not able to give teacher raises like we'd like um, because with the funding, it's just not there. Now, even with all that, the superintendent called the district financially sound. He said if the district does end the year in the red, there's a so-called fund balance of $10 million the district can use to cover the losses. Of course, they don't want to do that, and that's why they're hopeful that the state legislature passes two bills. One would provide the funding to cover some of the property tax revenue losses I mentioned in the story. The other would eliminate that $2 million spike in the district's Robin Hood payments. Reporting live in the studio, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News.